Hey everyone, welcome to Wikcode, where in this video we're going to talk about Nginx and environment variables, specifically using Docker. So Nginx doesn't support environment variables by default. However, Docker provides Nginx images that support environment variables since version 1.19. The way it does this is by using the command env subst. Of course, this is ran inside the container and not inside our local computer, which is why it's not found, but this is the command that it runs. And specifically what this command does is it replaces any instance of a curly brace or a dollar sign and curly braces and then some kind of string with an environment variable. And this is useful as we can easily toggle between development and production environments by just changing the environment variables that are loaded into the Docker image. So for example here, this is an Nginx configuration where these variables will be replaced by what is inside this environment variable file here. So .env, these here will replace this stuff here. So to demonstrate this, what I have is a Docker Compose file where we have a server, which runs using Node, and then we have a reverse proxy, which is Nginx, which of course uses Nginx. In this setup though, the line that's most important to us is this volume right here. So what this volume does here is it sets up a volume between our default.conf.template file, which is this one here with these environment variable the values that we want to substitute with environment variables, and it sets a volume to in the side of the container, nginx templates, and then default comp.template. And if we and we can see this, but if we look inside our container, so I'm gonna open up an interactive terminal with our container, which is called reverse proxy, and we're just gonna run a shell command. And now we're inside the container. If I list everything out, let's go to this nginx templates directory, and inside here we have default.conf.template because of this volume that we set up here. Now let me just print out the information here. And so we can see our stuff listed here, which is this file. But remember this is inside the container in this location. And this location here, so dash etc nginx templates, is very important as this is where the nginx docker image performs its environment variable replacement. And this environment variable replacement is done, as we mentioned earlier, with this command env subst or environment variable substitution. And specifically, what this function does in the Docker image is it reads any template file or any file ending in the extension .template inside this directory. So inside dash etc nginx.templates, remember if we list up the files, this one ends in .template. So it runs the env subs command on any file ending in .template in this directory and then outputs the results into this location here, which is dash etc nginx conf dot d. So if we list out this, we have a default.conf in here. And if we log out the information in this file, we can see the substitution values have been implemented. So our reverse proxy, this here is called reverse proxy. The reverse proxy port is 6002. And this is all taken from this environment variable file. And notice also how this file is stripped of the dot template. So dot template here has been stripped and it's now called default.conf. And now what's important next is whatever ends in .conf in this file folder, so in the etc nginx.conf.d, gets loaded into our main nginx configuration file or nginx.conf. So if we look inside, um, let's go back. If we cat out nginx.conf, we can see this line here to include anything ending in a .conf extension inside conf.d. And of course, if we look inside conf.d, we have our default.conf configuration. So this will be loaded in after environment variable substitution has been ran on it. But so this is really all it takes to use environment variables with Docker. You just got to get your locations right. But also let me show you how I actually got all this set up. So if I stop our Docker Compose from running, and now some other lines that are important. So this env file attribute here adds environment variables to a container. So in this case, it adds them to our nginx container. And over here, it adds them to our server container or our node container. And so another important part is we do, if we run dark compose up and then we supply env file like this, this will use these variable, will load these environment variables into these here. So this command loads them into the docker compose.yaml file. And then this line here actually loads them into the container. So if we run this and the reason it says this, this always catches me up is you have to of course place this before the up command dot env. Now if we run this, we can see everything's been created. And let's reconnect to our reverse proxy. And if we list 
our environment variables, which I think we can do to env list or just env, we can see the environment variables that have been placed inside the container. So we have reverse proxy, server host, and all that stuff, which is ultimately what the env substitution command uses to place them in this file. And now something I want to show too is it's useful that we've set up a volume in here because now any changes we make inside here will be live reloaded. So we, let's just do some nonsense in here. Hello, how are you? And now if we look inside our templates folder in here and let's cut out what it says, we can see hello, how are you has been loaded into the container. Of course, once again, because of this volume. However, if we look inside our conf.d directory and print out in here, this hasn't actually been applied. And the reason for this is because env substitution, so that command is ran when the container starts up. So we also need a way to run it when the container is already running. And so the way to do this is I actually have a command that I use, i exit out of here. I have a command that I use. Let me just paste it in the terminal here. And what it does is it uses docker exec against the reverse proxy and run, passes a string to the shell command where it runs env substitution using our template file and loads it into our configuration file. And then ultimately we have to reload nginx with this new configuration. So if we run this, well now we can see things have been reloaded. So we get unknown directive, hello. So if we, let's remove this. And if we just add in say root and say dash etc dash nginx. Now if we run this command, we could see that we have gotten a reload signal to nginx. Now let's go back into our container. Let's go back to our templates. We can see the change in here. And now let's also check it inside our configuration directory and we can see it's been placed in here. So once again, this command here will rerun env substitution against our default template file and output it to our default configuration. Because if we don't run this command, then the change will be live inside our template file, but not inside our configuration file. So we won't notice any changes. But so this is my video on running nginx environment variables with Docker. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. Uh, besides that, if you want to support me, please consider downloading my Chrome extension called Witceptor in the description of the video. Um, besides that, thank you for watching and have a good one.